You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're still here in Blackpool after a great day at the Pleasure Beach. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out yesterday's vlog. Tonight then, we're going to be checking out Christmas by the Sea. We are, so this is going to be running on select dates until the 2nd of January 2023. Now the star flyer that they had last year is back down here just out the front of the tower. So we'll take you on there with a nice POV with all the nice fancy lighting. Mm -hmm. Along with that, there's a couple of other rides for this year, some sort of Santa sleigh ride that I've seen oh, that they've got. Uh, along with that as well, there's some market stalls and also the ice skating rink. It's not realised, it's a plastic one, but it is free of charge to go on there. It's good that it's free, but I can't skate on these oh, plastic Not after Warwick as well, <laughs> make sure you check out the vault. That was a real ice skating it rink was. and we didn't do very well there. Um, yeah, come and join us. We thought we're in Blackpool tonight. We've been at the Pleasure Beach. Let's check out what this event has to offer and start off with a bit of an update with the big wheel over on Central Pier. Now earlier this year, I filmed the vlog from Central Pier just talking about how this wheel was going to be coming out and a new much bigger wheel with indoor gondolas was actually going to be heading on there for next year. Well I believe that's been slightly delayed now so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that in the future. However what they've actually done is replace the lighting package there on the big wheel and I've got to say it looks brilliant. I mean the camera doesn't really do it justice but yeah it's fantastic in person. There's loads of different patterns on there, all nice colourful LEDs and yeah it looks absolutely brilliant and of course more energy efficient as well but there you go look at that effect. That's really nice with the wheel kind of spinning round and yeah it's good to see and the piers are actually still open at the moment as well uh, which is really good for this time of year. Well, Blackpool is busy tonight, and yeah, it's great to see the extended illumination season again this year. Hopefully, that happens next year, because it's really good for the tourism here in Blackpool. I've had many happy visits over the years here, ever since I was a kid. And yeah, normally the season's well finished by now. Kind of the first weekend of November, the illuminations used to be off, and that was it for Blackpool, really, until next year. Whereas now, to pump in, it's good to see, uh, with the Christmas by the Sea event that the council first put on last year, and also extended extended the run of the illuminations. It's brought a lot of people down. Obviously, Pleasure Beach extended the season because of it. The piers have as well. Uh, down here, you know, you've got Coral Island that's open. The rides run on the piers. And then you've got the Star Flyer as well. So yeah, Blackpool is pumping still at this time of year, which is good to see. Uh, really nice. And yeah, the illuminations will still be running through until the start of January 2023 as well. But yeah, it's busy. Loads of cars down here tonight. Obviously, you can drive through the illuminations. However, it's always quite nice walking through them as well. Uh, we'll see these ones down here by the tower and obviously if you want to see the full Illuminations display, I did film a vlog back at the start of Illumination season in September uh, a few months ago taking you through them all including the ones down in Bispam at the other end as well. So yeah if you want to see all of that check out that vlog. Well yeah the tower is a big candy cane for the holiday season which looks really nice. That's the beauty of these LED lights. They can program them to do different things and yeah I think that looks really nice with the candy cane. It matches the star fly there at the moment. I don't think that was done on purpose but yeah that looks really nice. Well it was really popular last year and it seems even more popular in 2022. The Star Flyer is back down here on the Tower Headland and I tell you what, looks amazing this year because they've actually upgraded the lighting package. I believe it is the same Star Flyer but yeah they've put brand new lights on there which looks amazing. I mean from this angle it looks nearly as tall as Blackpool Tower. Obviously it's nowhere near as tall but yeah when you're up there you get a brilliant view looking at the tower and the world famous six mile long Blackpool Illuminations as well. So yeah, we'll head down there, check out the pricing and have a look at the other rides because yeah, there's a few other bits, mostly children's rides I believe. Um, but still I'm looking forward to seeing all the setup for this year and also seeing something finally out that me and Charlotte actually helped build and um, that I'm looking forward to see. I do love these new illuminations down here for this year. Very modern, very colourful. Great to see the colours of the rainbow. And yeah, it looks like we're in for a long cycle on here as well. It was nice and long last year. And yeah, it seems like they've kept that up as well. Probably about a three, four minute cycle there, I'd imagine. Yeah, let's go and check it out a little bit closer. Bit of Rick Astley to welcome us into the event. <laughs> hey, we got a bit of a party in Blackpool. Six pounds to ride this year. I'm sure it was four last year. Let's go ride! I love you, baby! Hey, here we go! We are having six pounds to ride. 
is really going for this, like, especially with the iconic view that we're looking out over Blackpool, going to get some nice views, looking out over at the tower. And also, look at this, here's the rest of the event. Wow, look how busy it is tonight. Fantastic to see. And yeah, we've got some more rides down here. There's the teacups, Santa sleigh ride, little racer armor, theme to cars. Whoa! I love you, baby. Oh, brilliant. There's the candy cane. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm right in the middle there. That's Odyssey. And I'll talk more about that when we come down. Oh! <laughs> you okay, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, he's a bit chilly. View. 60 meters tall <laughs> on the Starflyer with this brand new lighting package. Oh, this is great looking out over the sea. Wow. wow. Woo. What's quite funny is from the back, it looks like the big wheel on Central Pier doesn't have any lights. You see it just there. Obviously, the lights only on one side. <laughs> Woo. Fantastic. <laughs> Look at this. Hey. It's freezing cold here in Blackpool. But yeah, this is good. I love it. Look at all that traffic for the illumination. Woo. All the way down the promenade here in Blackpool. Here we go. It's a bit of POV selfie action. <laughs> Welcome to Blackpool, everybody. Christmas by the sea. Oh, it's just started to rain, I think, as well. Oh, oh that is bitter now. <laughs> yeah, what a great view of the tower. Woo! Giant candy cane. December, of course. Feels to come and enjoy. Woo! Yeah, it's great how you get a good cycle. Two and a half minutes in, we're still not coming down quite yet. Woo! What would make this even better is if Pleasure Beach was still lit up down there. Oh, you can taste the salt in the air. I don't know if you can, Charlotte. Not <laughs> yeah, keep your mouth closed, don't blame it. Fantastic. Love a good star flyer. Yeah, six pounds to ride. Woo! Oh, you feel yourself like really tilted as you move your legs. <laughs> there we go, coming down. You always pass any star flyers. Very comfortable on this one though with the plastic seat in. Yeah, you don't actually have any seat belts on this one, you just literally have this bar coming across. There's no actual belt coming across your legs. There we go, four minute cycle with that one. Six quid, and that's really good. Whoa! Still forward quite a bit on this one with the wind and the braking. <laughs> you enjoy that? Oh, I know. That was good. 60 meters tall with some great views. But yeah, let's check out the rest of the event. Last year, this was the only ride down here, but yeah, there's a few other bits this year. Four minute cycle there on the Around the World Star Flyer. It was very cold, however, I very much enjoyed that. Oh, that was good. You get a great view down the promenade. It's lovely. It's really nice to see it back down here in Blackpool. I didn't know if it would just be like a one year thing last year. So it's so nice that brought the event back and made it bigger as well. It's good for people. It's really busy. It's very busy. People love a good paper ride. That's the thing. Uh, it's great for all variety of budgets as well, Definitely. isn't it? You pay to just do one ride or a few, Something or not any. Just come down here and soak it up. It's free to enter. There's no barriers or anything. It's literally just here on the seafront. You walk into it and you can do and see what you want to.
Well, of course, the main draw for Thrill Seekers is the Star Flyer. However, they've got some other great family rides down here, including the sleigh ride just here. What's really cool about these is that normally it's a standard Dumbos. They can remove the elephants and then put on these sleighs and reindeers just here and have Santa there in the middle. And yeah, I love these. Fantastic to see. Four pound a ride. They do a family ticket, four riders for 14 pounds. But yeah, here's a little look at this in action. I like the little elves that are all on the beams just there. Yeah, these are really nice to see. I'm sure this went to Winter Wonderland a few years ago. But yeah, fantastic. All the sleighs and obviously it's basically a Dumbo's ride. You control the height that you want to go to. But the good thing is with this, I'd imagine you get a nice view looking over the event and the tower still. Obviously your view's gonna be even better on the Star Flyer, but that isn't for everyone, you know, so I can understand why some people will want to stay a little bit lower down on this. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? See more rides. Well themed Christmas attraction. You got a carousel with the teacups just over here as well. So yeah, the teacups rides. That's three pounds per person just here, or four for ten pounds. There, you go, nice little teacups, and then there's the carousel just round on that side. So yeah, we're going to have a little look at that. You got the racer armor ride down here. That's three pounds a go. It's just nice to see more attractions here and keeping Blackpool thriving and all these businesses going at this time of the year. Fantastic. Yeah, I think the sleigh ride looks amazing, and that lighting package on that star flyer brilliant to see around the world love the little racer armors they're basically a bit like the whip now i mean you've got a thing you know the whips are a classic they've still got one at adventure island actually in south end but yeah it's nice how you know modern kind of version of the whip now it's cars themed which is really cool if you fancy coming to blackpool and getting the original german sausage then you can get that down here as well for a nice German sausage. Brat versus seven pounds if you want one of those down here. But yeah, I think we're gonna be getting the real German sausage in the next vlogs coming up on the channel because we're literally heading out to Germany. We are, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. And in fact, tomorrow we'll have the travel vlog coming out. Well, indeed. Uh, and then, yeah, making our way to Europa Park, Fantasialand, and Efteling. So magical. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Charlotte's first time for Christmas at those parks as well. And here's a look. Have the little carousel they've got down here, three pounds to ride. Yeah, got quite a few stalls down here as well. I feel like there's even more stalls than there was last year, which is nice. Spanish churros just over there, if you like your churros. I certainly do love a good churro. I wanted some at Winter Wonderland the other night, but I've just had my tea now, so I would have had some. £8.50 for a Yorkshire pud wrap just here. Very popular, people love these, don't they? Not too badly priced, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, compared to a lot of like, other places, Winter Wonderland and stuff, they're quite expensive. Alton Towers, they were a lot, weren't they? Yeah, it's quite nice. Well priced down here. You got the I Heart Blackpool sign out just here as well. It's a fantastic photo opportunity. And yeah, what's really nice is you can see Odyssey there just behind it. We'll head into there in just a moment. And yeah, the Blackpool Tower behind. This is a really nice photo opportunity that they've set up just here. Look at the crowds down here. Everyone's loving the food stalls. Great to see. You got crepes and donuts just over there. Four sugar donuts for four pounds. Yeah, a pound each. Seems like the stalls accept card payments from what I've seen as well and been walking past. Chocolate kisses just over there. One pound each. Charlotte loves these. Everywhere we go now, you see these chocolate kisses. 12 for 10 pounds. Still not as good a deal as you got at Birmingham Markets, is it? And that vlog's over on the Sandbrook Adventures, our second channel, where we went to the Christmas markets there. But yeah, they're really nice, the chocolate kisses. I tell you what, this event has improved massively on last year. You've also got projections over on the tower as well. And talking to the tower, it's still a big candy cane. Welcome to Odyssey, the brand new illumination here in Blackpool. This looks absolutely brilliant. And you know what's even more amazing about it? We actually helped make one of these a year and a half ago now. We filmed a behind the scenes video at Lightworks, the Illuminations HQ. And yeah, helping put one of these together. And yeah, now we're seeing them here in person. And I've got to say, they look amazing. These were originally going to launch for the Illuminations last year, but they weren't quite ready. However, I think you'll all agree that it's been worth the wait. These are now probably the best Illuminations 
here in Blackpool and the best thing is they're not over the road you're actually walking through them down here in an immersive experience and I think with the star flyer there behind it it's even better what do you think to this Charlotte? They're absolutely fantastic they're on such a big scale the lights look great. I'm trying to work out which one it is that I was putting the finishing touches to well yeah we saw these if you remember they were all just white you know there was no lights or anything on them I'm like, look at this now, this is Odyssey. All projections on the floor down here and a dance track. It's like something from Tomorrowland or something down here. Look at this. These are brilliant. What's really cool, oh, I like how it went Odyssey then. It's nice how the projectors are actually built into the top. I've got to say, this is phenomenal. I knew it was going to look good, but I didn't think it would look anywhere near this good. In fact, we were shown we weren't allowed to show it in the video at the time because it was very secret. We were shown an animation, I don't know if you can remember, on a screen of what it was going to look like. And it does, I can hardly hear you. Look at this, Odyssey. Yeah, these are absolutely massive, very impressive. And not only you've got the LED lights on there, you've got all the strips that are LED too on there as well and yeah the placement of this is brilliant here right next door to the comedy carpet and you can see the tower through just there i would love to see more stuff like this as part of the illuminations in the future so i think this really is fantastic great to see and i think with a lot of light trails and things that there is around now it's really good how Blackpool are thinking about that and evolving the illuminations um, with more walkthrough experiences. Yeah, this is great, everyone's loving it. And the fact it's a proper dance tune as well is great to see. Yeah, 10 out of 10. I'm not just saying that because we helped make it. Genuinely, this is brilliant. Like, I really want to see more stuff like this for the illuminations. Great to see. I think it's just resetting now onto the next one. So much going on down here. I mentioned it just, but you can see them there in action. You got the Christmas projection show on there as well. And what's fantastic about this, much like the illuminations have always been, it's free to come and see. There's no entry fee required. And I think with the whole world and the UK really entering a very tough time at the moment financially for people, the fact that Blackpool Council are wanting to spread a little bit of Christmas magic for free. Obviously the rides down here are great, but you can come here without spending a penny, come and see the projections, come and see Odyssey, and enjoy the illuminations. I think that's really important, no matter what time of year it is. However, this year, even more so, for thousands and thousands of people um, that are really gonna be struggling this Christmas. It's so nice how Blackpool Council have put on this event uh, for people to come down and enjoy with the projections. I'm just bringing a little bit of Christmas magic down here for free. I've just noticed as well, there's actually lasers built into the end. I didn't spot them at first. There we go. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but yeah, there's a green beam just going in the front of the tower there. Yeah, so there's lasers actually built into the top. But no, it's really nice. And yeah, this view here is stunning with the star flyer there. Like, this is truly magical. You've got projections on the floor, on the tower. This is really well done. Really impressive what they've done. It was a fun event last year, but it was more like a come and have a ride on the Star Flyer, maybe do a bit of skating and off you go. And now it's a full package experience down here. Yeah, really nice. I think a lot of families will really appreciate it more than ever this Christmas, which is great to see. Whoa, whoa, let's have some fun. Whoa, whoa, all I want is me and you. Oh, oh, boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room to spend the night. I love it. You got a little bit of the Vega Boys. One of our all time favourites. Fantastic. It's not just us loving the Vega Boys. Everyone's having a bit of a dance down here. You got some big Christmas baubles over there as well. Loads of trees around. More stalls up here. Let's have a look. Charlotte has just won a gold prize just over here. There you go. <laughs> I can't believe it was literally perfect. So the top, what have you won for us, Charlotte? Won admission to Ripley's Believe It or Not. There we go, Ripley's Believe It or Not, a Blackpool Pleasure Beach. How fun is that? Literally landed perfect on a gold prize just there. The other tickets uh, were four tickets to go and see the pantomime. But yeah, I won those tickets dressed as a Viking down at Pleasure Beach, which is quite funny, isn't it? There you go, oh fantastic, lovely. Right, we've got warm mince pies just over there. 
chutneys, hamper and gifts just over there, the hamper cabin. Burgers and fries down here as well. You can get beef burgers there, five quid. I can't believe that, that was so funny. Oh, and look at this, they've actually got a proper heated bar down here this year. Look at this, really nice to see. Yeah, what can you get there? Cider, six quid. More wine, five pounds just there. Yeah, really nice setup. Look at this. I feel like the event is probably going to grow even more for next year. Like looking at this setup, good to see. Are you happy with your prize? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Fantastic to see. Well, yeah, here's a look at the ice skating rink. It's actually closed now tonight. It was open until six o'clock. Well, yeah, it's only open selected times. You got the big Christmas bauble down here as well. It looks fantastic. These are always really nice, lit up. Really good to see. Now, it is quite a bit smaller than last year's. However, it is free to do, and it's so nice how they've kept that free. And this whole event, really, um, has got so much going for it without having to pay for things, which is good. And I won a prize. Oh, I <laughs> know you did well. Um, yeah, the ice ring looks fantastic down here still. You know, it's got the lights around the side. It's not home tonight. Um, it's shut at six o'clock today. It is free. What more can you ask? Exactly. It's free. Like, it costs nothing to go on. But, uh, yeah, you can uh, literally just turn up down here free of charge, subject to availability of course. It's open until 9 o'clock on some days, a little bit closer to Christmas. But yeah, it was 6 o'clock today, because obviously when we're filming this, the last couple of days of November, and then we'll be heading into the main Christmas run. But yeah, you've got another little indoor area there, another bauble, and yeah, lots to see down here at Christmas by the sea 2022. And of course, you can enjoy the wonderful illuminations and the tower lit up like a giant candy cane. <laughs> Just before we wrap up the vlog, there's a look at one of the illuminated trams here in Blackpool. They do look fantastic. Well, there we go. That brings us to the end of our day in Blackpool and a visit to Christmas by the Sea tonight. Fantastic improvements for this event for this year. I think they've done a really good job. There's a lot of free stuff for families to do, which is great. Yeah, definitely. And of course, the Star Flyer is well worth going on down here as well, uh, where you get some great views looking out over the tower, the illuminations, and the event as a whole. It's just grown a lot more for this year, and hopefully, it can keep growing even for next year. I'm sure, over the years, it'll just continue to grow with how popular it is. Yeah, definitely. I really hope so, because it's really nice to see Blackpool be able to be more 365 instead of more just focused on the summer. And then the illumination shorter season now this is be wanting to extend the season more to christmas and it's bringing people down here for christmas by the sea because it's lovely down here exactly because people are coming for the illuminations and they'll make a trip to see that as well and you got i think you got a lot of indoor stuff as well with the uh, arcades coral islands just over there as well lots to see and uh, yeah blackpool pleasure beach will be back open from march check out the vlog from yesterday if you haven't already seen it but we've done a lot of christmas now here in the uk we're about to make our way abroad now oh, no way. we're heading to germany Germany. The travel vlog will be coming up tomorrow here on the channel and then we're going to be starting off at Europa Park, then heading to Fantasialand and then nipping over to the Netherlands for a visit out to Efteling as well. So stay tuned for that one. So it's going to be an absolutely awesome trip, it really is. And we will see you at the airport making our way out to Germany. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you all tomorrow.